Hello and welcome back to the farm. So, in this episode we will be going over to our corn planting. I almost said harvesting, but not harvesting. There you go, corn planting. On fields 20 and 5. Um, I just thought about doing some liming on those spots where you plowed up, but I think we're going to do that next harvest, or next planting, after this next harvest will lime. So, yep, uh, between this episode and the previous one, I did a little bit of fertilizing, fertilizer spreading on our grass that we are, that's going to be hay. I spread those because they needed applications now already. So, I mean, we still have the grass in the way, so technically I shouldn't have done it, but maybe we can overlook that. So we'll get this corn in here. This corn is going to be for making silage for our cows. These fields around here are pretty much strictly just for our livestock. All right. Let's get that corn in the ground. So as I mentioned in one of the previous episodes that there may not be episodes this past weekend. Uh, it turns out it did get for Saturday. There wasn't one on Sunday. Well, there will not be one today, which is Monday. But this will be coming out most like day. I am up tomorrow's video, which is Tuesdays. We are making hay in that one. Yes, you know, in this in-game day yet. So that one should be up shortly, not shortly, probably in a few hours. If I have enough time, I will be editing this and uploading this. Then maybe this will be Tuesday's video, and maybe I can uh, release the haymaking one today yet. We'll see how fast my internet uploads it today. It might be a little internet, it might be a bit slow today, because of we got finally getting some rain here. And usually that slows down the internet, internet a bit, so <laughs> I'm fine with that. We finally got some rain. We haven't had rain for so long. Everything's been so dry. So I'll sacrifice a bit of slower internet for some rain. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of rain make, makes that I don't have a work today because I work construction. We're outside, so I mean, I'll take a day off from that. Cut the paycheck down a little bit, take the day off, if we can have some rain, because, oh man, the ground needs it already so bad. Just uh, visiting a friend out in a different part of the province here yesterday, and they are even dry. Looks like they got some rain too, which is good. Their grass has just, has just been brown for like a month already. Just no moisture anywhere. It's just crazy. So yeah, we'll get this corn in here and then we'll get it spread with fertilizer immediately after. Cause, well, that's what we do. <laughs> that's farming. Oh, no, what was I talking about? Putting us, I was talking about in the previous episode Putting something up in that yard there behind that shed. What was that? We were talking. We were talking about uh, one of those MF shed pack sheds, or was it a silage pit? Don't remember. Because we're gonna need to put a silage pit down for this corn, and I'm not quite sure where would be the best place to do that yet. We like to keep it on that side of the road over there. Yeah, we're, oh, that's right, we're going to put the silage pit on there. We're going to take up some more of our grassland there and put it there. That's right. It's all coming back to me now. It's been a few days since I've been recording, so. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow in game we can get the hail baled. Should dry by then. Wish there's a way you could, uh, I mean, you could, you have the ground tester, you could test what the ground is like, but I wish you could 
uh, test what a swath was because I don't think it picks it up. I think it just tests the ground. You can see how close you were to getting the hay. It would be nice. I mean, with the temperature now, now in game here, it should be fine. But still, it'd be nice to know. Get over to here, so we just get a pretty close to a straight line. And then we'll just turn it right around, come right back up this side, and then we'll work our way up and down the field. There we go. So this should be enough seed too. Looking looks like not going down too fast, so should be good. I don't think that crop cross highway highway changed again. Oh, that was weird. Let me check here. Oh, still potatoes. So. Oh man, that changed from barley to sunflowers to potatoes in a day. That was nuts. Believe that. What I was seeing there, so. So, next job. Well, actually, this will probably finish off today in game here planting this and then fertilizing it and then next job here in the episode will be to go sleep and then in the morning hopefully after feeding the cows and chickens and stuff uh we'll be ready to do our hay that's the uh, hopefully we'll be ready by then oh we still need to uh hopefully it accepts it there on our uh, barley field across the highway there. Hopefully, accept a little bit for those because we're a little bit short on the one side there, where it was whoops, where it was not accepting it at first. Then we limed it, and then it all worked. I'll show you here. Go to soil composition. See this little section right here. Needs a little bit of fertilizer. Just like this field 34 soybeans will need once it's hmm, growing a bit just like the corn will after it grows a bit too we need to hit the whoops, grass here with another application once it grows a bit too and that is all of our fields fully fertilized then contracting the Ooh, field 30. I'm going to accept that. I'll do that also. Another 30 grand. I won't say no. Field 30. Probably it was 30 grand, right? Yeah. Definitely do that. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it or showed you guys that I did return the other fertilizer spreader that we had leased. Because the fertilizer contracts have been going down a bit. So... We can just get them down with ours if they come up and if I want to do them. Let me know if you're tired of me doing contracts. I can, I can stop. I'll try my best to stop if you <laughs> hate me doing them all the time. But I just find it's a good way to make a little extra money. Hopefully that uh, train is not too annoying for this video. I am hearing it like crazy. Hopefully the mic's not picking it up too much. I wish they were a lot quieter. Right beside, but just across the street a little ways, there's a canola processing plant and they have train tracks running through there and all that, so it's just very noisy. You know, people say you get used to the noise around where you live, but I've been living here for three months now and it's, I'm still not used to it. It's just very, very obnoxious. So, well, we got a time lapse going on this and get this corn all in. Yeah, look at the seed again. We should have enough. Then we can go put this away because this will be the last planting of the season. So, yeah, let's get a time lapse going and get her done.
just about done here at the corn. One more pass, just uh, one and a half, one and a bit. I'm not gonna quite do it in one, doesn't look like it. But yeah, I was just having a bit of a think while doing this. Um, I think we will bring the seed tank from on the front of the tractor back to the farm, and then we'll bring the planter, we'll fix it up, wash it off, and then bring it down to the store and sell it. Because I'm thinking for next spring, we will upgrade our planter to the bigger one. Well, it's a bigger planter, but it has less hopper tank or seed tank space which is a little bit annoying, but I think in the long run it will be a bit faster. We may break, need to bring some seed to the field, but not the end of the world. So yeah, we'll get this done here and we will do exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm not going to go through it again because I just said it. I don't know why I'm still talking about it. but. Thing doesn't, it uh, lifts pretty fast once you're done, but dropping it is quite slow because you've seen it backed up a few times when I've gotten to the, starting the next run down. So, which was a little bit faster. Going down, that is. Okay, well, let's get this end done on this side of the tree. And then we will reboot the other side. And then this should be a beautiful cornfield in a couple days. And hopefully we can get the next cut. Well, I'm really hoping we can get a second cut of hay off that grass there. But I don't know if the weather, weather is going to be permitting of that. If not, well, hopefully we can get the next cut of, you know, we'll cut the grass for silage. And then place the pit down for the, the corn here. To go, the chaff for the corn to go in. Because... It would be nice to get that little bit extra. I mean, probably don't need it, thinking about it. So, also, I've been thinking a little bit, seeing how, if you go to the menu here, wait, save again. And we check the price here on silage. Where is it here? 270. That is not very good. Um, I was thinking about putting down a different biogas plant for us here closer to the farm it's under miscellaneous I think no it's gonna be under silos yep putting down the one by alien Jim there the small BGA there's that one it pays out fairly well I think it's only three slots so that's pretty good. Um, okay, let's get the folded. Or do I have the other one? Or do I just uh, mods and uninstall them? So it might not be in there. There's a different biogas plant that I had, that I have used in the past. Yeah, it's not in there. So, we might put that biogas plant down there as well. Maybe not this year, but why is that going so crooked? Well, it's not all folded up yet. There we go. Okay, yeah, we may do that for next year. If we don't use up all the silage, we'll just sell it like that. Or maybe we should put it down this year. It's only 35 grand. And if it pays out fairly well, we'll... If it pays out fairly well for the sides, you should get that paid for in no time. So let's unload the seed here. Is there any in? Whoops, is there any in this thing? Oh, there is some. Okay. Well, let's disconnect that so we can unload just the hopper. Actually, we should go to the back side and unload it.
Oops. There we go. Whoops. No. Don't pull it along. So maybe we should bring the tail handler back to the yard here and clean up some of these pallets we have lying everywhere. So let's swing this around. And we will... that there we'll put this tank back in the shed go then we'll get that planter all repaired but we should wash it up first or it doesn't really matter which order we do it in real in the real world you like to wash it up first before fixing it up because then you don't have all the dirt and grime on it but we'll just fix it up now well, it does not need a whole lot. 20 bucks. You need a bearing or something in there. <clears throat> so let's back it over here to our pressure washer. And we'll get it all cleaned up. And then the store can get us top dollar for it. It's been a good drill or planter for what we have needed it for. But we need to upgrade. We need something a little bit bigger. Speed the process up a bit. All the dust off. Beautiful. All right, looking good. Okay, let's go get this sold, and then we will hop into the fertilizer spreader and well, we'll field, fertilize the cornfield. I'll hit. See if I can get the edge of the barley field here, and then I'll do that contract off screen, and then we'll I will bring you in afterwards in the morning once we're all done all that. Cause just keep the ball rolling here, ticking along. Don't want to drag it out too much. How much was this thing worth? 110, 120 grand, something like that. I think maybe a bit more, a bit less, somewhere around there. Oops. I mean, I guess we could have sold it from our toolbox thing there too, I think. I think it sells for the same price as if you, whoa, that's tipping. Same price as if you bring it here down to the store. But we're here now, so. There we go. See 120. Ooh, 150. Nice. All right. So we have 406 grand now. We will definitely be buying a different planter for spring, so don't need to worry about that. Now I'm just wondering, can we buy any different land? This is 700 grand, that one, so we cannot get that one, that's for sure. I'll get that. Stupid, expensive, everything. Yikes. Hmm. Chunk of land. If we can. Oops, that is the wrong way to drive, but whatever. Made it here. Alright. Okay. So let's hop in here. Actually, let's first let's first look here a bit more in depth. What can we buy? No, everything's just so expensive. Yikes. The only thing we can afford is field six. Oh, we can afford field seven. Hmm. <laughs> no, we're just gonna wait and see what kind of um, 
money we can earn, see if we can, because next field person really would like to get to, or 36 across the road. Definitely would be a good one to go for, I think. So let's get this spread. So we can get as much silage out of this as possible. And then maybe we can get that uh, biogas plant. No, we can't place it until we get that hay out of the, off the field. Because I want to put the... Well, once we get around here, I will hop into editor mode a little bit. And I'll show you what my plan is. For that area a little bit. I'll get around here. Just to give us workers some space. So we can kind of decipher what needs to be done. Those workers are quite stupid. As you probably all well know. I wonder if by... We had a field... Six there. There's not a lot of grass around that. I wonder if that needed mowing. I don't think so. Okay, he's going. Let's quickly check here for the grass around our field 26. Yeah, we own this little path. There's like, there's no grass down there to cut. Oh, we could buy field 27 because we said we were gonna buy that for 300,000 if we wanted it. <laughs> no, no, no. Stupid workers. <laughs> Quit leaving stuff. Just finish the field. <sighs> Very frustrating. Alright, so we'll go up and down this side. Perfect. Swing that over. Beautiful. Okay, so now if we go here, we want to put down probably just the medium, I'm thinking. Kind of thinking about there, so if we can, well, that area, we're now sensing, or the, sensing the rose in the field so it won't let us place I'm thinking this area here for the pit I want to go yeah we want to stay back so we're flush with the uh, fence and, and the manure there and then I'm thinking putting this biogas plant down where is it here small BGA for 35 grand if we can put that The pipes on the wrong side. I'm hoping it's gonna be the other side, but if we do that, somewhere, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. If they could put stuff in that field, but I'd rather not keep going back and forth across the the road. So. Take up a little bit of our grass field. Should be not too bad. Once we get 36 there going, we'll probably put grass in there eventually too, or maybe this one. Ah, because I know silage pays up very well, and especially when you have a biogas plant that pays a decent figure. Some of the ones that are like here doesn't pay too terribly well. Because I'm a normal economy and it's only paying 270. Usually, normal economy pays around 450. So you're almost looking at just close to half of what a good one pays. I think that $35,000 one from Alien Jim pays 450, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, 
So once this is done, I will head off down to field 30, or no, we'll do the edge of our, our field there, field 31 first, and then I'll go down and do that contract. Hopefully, that field accepts there with the barley, because it would be nice to get that 100% there. Well, not 100%, obviously, because that little spot's also missing with lime, I think. Where are we here? Here. Yeah, it's missing a little bit of lime there, so it won't be exactly 100%, but it'll be pretty close. Close enough. Yeah, I think we we'll probably only get two cuts of off the grass field this year and probably every year I've never gotten three cuts I don't think unless you go with a smaller cut but we went full cut this first time around so I don't think we'll be able to get a third so let's try this here so we're all uh, well I guess we'll see kind of oh it is working good 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 Beautiful. I don't think we own this grass area here either, so cannot mow that. Is that all done? Yep. Yeah, we don't own any of that grass there. We own a little bit there, but yeah. Whoops. Okay, so I will see you in the morning. Hopefully some other of our, our soybeans and corn will have grown a little bit. But for now, I'm going to go to field 30 down there and do that fertilizing contract. See you guys in the morning. Alright, so next job going to be underway here. So back in the fence, just done fertilizing the field 30. I also did field 4 because that came up. But on the, way on the drive back, I saw something very interesting whoops I cannot see there where are we here there's the baler you're probably thinking why is he taking the baler we're bailing in the morning right uh, but look our hay is ready to go so let's go and bail it up we'll collect it tomorrow morning because it'll probably get dark in the time we're doing this say this time should be at times five, really. But yeah, I was driving back and all of a sudden I saw it click over. It's like, it's hay! Finally! We got our hay! So, next episode, then we'll be stacking stack him away, placing that silage pit. Not pit, that uh, BGA. Oh, and probably a silage pit as well. But. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, we'll wait for, oh, Nessa. No, we're going to put it down. Guaranteed, we're just going to put it down. Get it done with. And, yeah. I hate how narrow this pickup actually is. I am spot on the middle. Oh, well, that's... Oh, you, I don't know. <laughs> so the first one is grass, because we had grass in there from last time doing our silage. But there, all the rest of them will be hay. Woohoo! Thank you. Yeah, I'll come, try to come back and tidy up the rest of those little pieces that we missed. I should look, for, we'll look forward while bailing. <laughs> so yeah, so excited. We finally got hay, making hay on this map. I was really hoping to last time. Just that fall air and stuff just does not want to dry out hay very fast. But obviously the spring air definitely does because we mowed this today. 
like this in game day we mowed it bright early in the morning and now we're ready to make hay ready so that is good news very very good news Yeah, we're gonna most likely stack this in the same shed as the straw. Probably put this in the opposite corner. We'll have to move some stuff around a little bit. Just cause there's a bucket and some stuff in the way there. Yeah, we got our hay. I'm just, you can probably tell, I'm just so excited. <laughs> and we should be getting calves soon too. Oh, it's such a busy, busy day on the farm. Time, not this day, busy times on the farm. Yeah, so let's get this hay baling done. And yeah, we'll get all of it bailed up because we have this field, that chunk between the highway and the railway tracks, and then around our, our soybean field, not tomato field, our soybean field, field 34. Oh man, I wish this pickup was better. Like I'm probably a little bit over, but not that much. Cause like that is missing loads. Like that's a crazy amount. Okay, well, let's get a time lapse going and we'll get this done cause it's kind of frustrating how much this thing is actually leaving behind. But I, I know if we go to 6,000 liter bales, and the only other 6,000 liter baler is the Heston baler, and then you have to go to a bigger bale size. But, and it might have to do that if we could do auto loading, need a different trailer then, because they're a bit bigger, and that trailer does not pick those up. But, I like that. Them high high density ones in here because you can haul a lot more. But if he does this, it's not going to work. If he's going to keep doing like this, I mean, if you didn't have, I don't remember having that much problems with the straw. But anyways, yeah, let's get this done, and we'll see you at the end. It'll probably be pitch black, but yeah, let's get this going. Just about done this field of hay here now. Uh, been working not too bad. Some of the swaths have gone a bit wide. Too terrible. Like I said before, I will clean up all this missed hay stuff because it's probably add up to a whole nother bale. But yeah, we got one more swath after this one, and then then I'll do the tidy up, and I'll get the rest of the, and we'll get the rest of the baling done. You have a little piece between there, like I said, and then around the barn, the uh, other field. Oh well, yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of pieces just everywhere. So we'll go out of cab just so we can kind of see them a bit better. Oh, I wonder how many bales we actually made. 
Should be quite a few, but oh, we're not, we're not done yet. But I wonder how many we made off of this field so far. Let's see. Ah, oh, saving. It's quite annoying, but better than losing everything. That's for sure. 62. That's pretty good. I thought we were only getting like 50 or something, but 62, that's not bad. Not, don't shake no sticks at that. No stick shaking. Alright, let's get some, well, here, all I will do this off screen, getting these little pieces picked up, because I'll be just all over the place and probably get a little bit seasick. I will join you guys up again once we are doing more of the main swaths there because these are this will take a little bit of time so let's actually let's see how much we get off the all of the mist stuff because we had okay let's see we had 62 and then we'll check that number well come on we'll check that number once I'm done with all the pieces see how much we actually missed or are picking up now but missed earlier so yeah, we'll check it once we're done. See in a bit. Uh, okay, so I think that's just about all the pieces of hay picked up and we're up to 63, we were at 62 before. So yeah, it was a full extra bale, which is good because we may have been one short, who knows? All right, so now we're gonna go off and Okay, we'll zip over all the, not zip, but we will go over all the windrows of hay out there just to get them all done. And then I'll do the little bits off screen. Well, we have a lot here actually. Whew. Yeah, I'll do the little bits that we'll do. Oh, come on, get in the right spot. Yeah, that will go over all the windrows of hay here just to get the majority of it and that's going to probably do it for this episode because we are getting pretty dark here already and then in the morning or maybe later tonight yet I will where am I cannot see cannot see where's the hay um, I will do the little bits if I can see them <laughs> and then we will get them cleared tomorrow morning so let's get this done here. It's getting kind of late. Well, it's 9, 9.20 or 20 to 10 now. It's not too bad, but it sure has gotten dark quick. I can't imagine if this, is, if this was winter time. It would be dark. It would be pitch black already. But yeah. So let's get this done. Try not to miss too much. I am missing quite a bit there, and more there, and oh yeah, yeah. It's just. Let me know if uh, we should switch or swap out this baler for the Heston baler, because the pickup is a lot better on that one. I know that because I have used it many times before, and it does not seem to miss this much. So let me know if you think we should switch the Heston baler. I'm thinking it almost might be the best option because this is missing an awful lot it's kind of ridiculous but how did it miss that that was a straight swath just seems like i don't know i mean some of it i can get because i know it's a crooked swath and i'm not and it's spread a bit wide but some of it's kind of like really wide Some of those specs, it's like, just pick them up already. I'm trying to use this one with a bow mowing with the front mower, just to be all over the place. Wouldn't pick up hardly anything. Hmm. 
Yeah, and also tomorrow this grass should have grown a little bit so we can get the second application of fertilizer on it. And with that, it would be up to 100% already. Like how uh, different the hay color is in seasons from the base game. Because in the base game, hay to grass is fairly close to the same color. I mean, right now, well, in seasons, hay is actually quite close to the straw color, but again, in real life it is too, so it is pretty good. Real, Realism's modding did with seasons, so. I am all over the place again, which driving cab found it maybe a little bit easier. Just stick that swath right down the center of the cab and be done with it. Yes. <laughs> around here can we get it can we get it not even maybe not even cold like mm. be easier just getting the milling machine and throwing it all into a trailer and storing it loose I don't know look look at it it's like a full swath it missed and I know for a fact over there I was dead center of that of it Just nuts. See, in there, it wasn't. I wasn't even close. To all of it. I don't know. Would it be a really yeah putting up the MF shed pack? I really like that for doing total mix raft and stuff. Then I've shed pack that holds everything loose and get a milling machine and just pick everything up like straw, hay, everything, pick it up loose. Oh, come on. Stupid. Can't stand that. At least this, well, this one swathed a little bit narrower, so picks up that one okay well maybe I'll sign off here just because I'm getting <laughs> kind of frustrated and just not turning out the way I want and it's getting dark and video quality won't be there so that's gonna do it for this episode we will clean up the hay bales tomorrow get them all put away and yeah get a silage that BGA put down as well yeah, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It's just below the video there. If you're on the phone, you have to swipe up maybe on the screen and it'll be there too. <laughs> just in case you weren't finding it, it's right over there. Um, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and you feel like you want, want to, you don't miss any of the videos I put out, go ahead. Would really appreciate it. And until next one, later.